All right, today, if this video works out, I'm gonna see if we can shoot 17 HMR 500 yards. Now, I previously shot three and 400 yards and I hit 400 no problem. I actually had a MOA or sub MOA group out there at 400 yards, if you can believe that. Previously gotten 22 Magnum out to 500 yards, but I have not yet got 17 HMR out to 500 yards. I honestly don't even know if I can do it because that little 17 grain bullet has no energy, no velocity left out there, but we'll see. The uh, 22 Magnum comes out of the barrel, you know, at a much lower velocity, about 1,900 feet per second or eight high 18s with a 40 grain bullet, which is what I was using to get the 22 Mag out 500 yards. And that was very difficult because we, we just had light crosswinds that would kick up here and there, and they were varying by two or three miles an hour. And that was pushing that heavier 22 Mag bullet out there all over the place, left and right, depending on just a couple mile an hour difference in uh, wind out there at that range. So I think 17 HMR would be even worse. Uh, 17 HMR is coming out a lot faster because the little 17 grain bullet advertised 2,500 feet per second, roughly 2,550. Now it does have more aerodynamic bullet, but it's less than half the weight. So, I mean, it's got nothing left out there at 500 yards. And I've already, I can already tell you from experience that uh, the wind blows these 17s real bad. Like even at hundred yards, if you got a decent amount of wind, you can see the, it'll push your bullet inch or two depending on how fast your wind is the 22 magnum does a much better job at fighting the wind that said this is why i'm trying this today pretty calm day uh forecast said four mile an hour winds and every once in a while it does kick up and honestly i, I feel like it's a little more than four miles an hour but like right now it's super calm uh there it is you can see that little tag there is barely moving but at times it does kick up and while I was down there setting up my target, it was blowing pretty decent. So it kind of just comes and goes. So I'll try to monitor that and shoot it in between the breeze uh, whenever it's the calmest. In regards to what I was saying, heavier bullet being better at longer range, even if it's going slower, I would prefer to use uh, the 20 grain bullets that you can get for these, but I don't have any or enough, I should say. So I will be using a 17 grain ballistic tip. These are the A22s with the little... Come on, focus. There we go, a little gray tip. Uh, but these are advertised 100 feet per second faster than your standard 17 grain uh, because these are designed for their uh, semi-automatic rifle, so a little extra pop to make sure that reliably cycles there. Uh, so that extra velocity will help us out a little bit. Out there on that middle mound, which is a laser rangefinder confirmed, 500 yards, and you can see that little flag down there kicking to the right. Um, it seems like it's blowing straight out up here, but down there it's like off to the right. So we have that little flag out there, the monitor plus the one up here. But there's my, actually that's a 20 inch steel gong. Uh, my hook broke today, so I'm not able to hang it to where we can see it swing, if it would even move it at that far, because it'd be like throwing a rock at it. Um, we probably wouldn't hear the impacts anyways, but I was going to try to use my smaller, thinner 16-inch, hoping that I might be able to hear it hitting because spotting it out there, especially with like zero energy left, is going to be very difficult, if not impossible. Um, at least with the 3-9 to nine I got on there, it's just a little $40 Simmons 3-9. to nine. Um, Ideally, you would have something with way more magnification uh, to be shooting this far, especially with something that's going to drop like a rock there. Almost positive I'm going to adjust that all the way up and I'm still not going to have enough it's still going to be hitting low so I'm also going to have to use Kentucky windage um, but anyways I'll give it a shot here and uh, if it doesn't work out then I will try again and probably just splice it into this video after this try but maybe we'll get lucky and get some hits today regardless I'm also not liking that wind out there look at it. it's kicking up right now and you can see that flag out there still moving but up here I can feel it pretty decent right now all right, well, I'll get you guys zoomed in after a few shots. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything, but it might help me too. I probably won't see crap through that 3D9 scope. I just gave it 180 clicks up from 100 yards zero. I don't even think it's supposed to go that far. I'm afraid the dial's going to pop out there, so I'll just try it now. It's still clicking and giving a force feedback, but 180 clicks.
So these first shots here, I had no clue where I would be impacting. I was just taking shots at it, trying to see if I could see anything kick up. I zoomed in there for you guys. I had no clue that I hit just to the right of that. Um, so I continued shooting higher and higher and higher. Still not seeing hits before I brought it lower and then finally started seeing impacts in front of it so that I could adjust my point of aim. Crazy though that that very first shot I actually guessed the elevation perfect but I had no clue because I did not see that impact in the dirt off to the right. After that shot, assuming that I was shooting over it, I started to aim low to see if I could see the impacts then and get this cool little ricochet here. And yeah, I am seeing absolutely nothing, so... <laughs> Took about five or six more shots here and finally was seeing where it was hitting, so I was able to adjust my point of aim from there. And these are the results. And they weren't perfect at first but i was still working on kind of like where exactly it was perfect to hold um but i did manage some hits here from the get-go and then i just kind of kept adjusting it trying to get more hits I don't know about you, but if you ask me, it looks like that one that went low was my fault because we got a decent little group up there uh, averaging top right there. So I do believe that one that hit low was just me and I pulled that shot. After those six shots there, the wind just would not make up its mind. So I was chasing the wind around the rest of the day, constantly having to adjust my aim left and right because it kept switching back and forth on but I did still manage a few more hits on the plate. Well, I looked around for a few minutes and found one of them. So the tip's gone. Focus! Because, uh, like I said, you know, we had several shots hitting low back here before I started making impact, knowing where to hold and whatnot, and bounced up and right there on the dirt. So that's what that looks like. There you have it. If your scope has enough uh, room for adjustment or if you're good at Kentucky windage and can hold over right, or if you have some mill dots or whatever for the correct holdover, uh, 17 HMR, an accurate one, such as mine, you can definitely get 500 yard hits out there, no problem, on a 20 inch gong, provided that the wind cooperates. So... I mean, we almost never get a day out here where there's not at least some wind. So this was about one of the best days for me to try that. Uh, but obviously, again, this thing's not meant to shoot even half that distance. So, but you can do it. And again, that's what these little 17 grain ballistic tips here, the A17s, a little faster, like I said in the beginning, than your standard 17 grain. Uh, I still can't help but think that the 20 grainers would have done better out there, but... I mean, we did it with the 17s, so I'm sure it could do it with the 20s as well.
Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you want to get any of the products you see me using in the videos, like this shooting bag here, safety glasses, earmuffs, paper targets, steel targets, and more, links in the description and all of that. Again, don't forget, I'll have linked in the description the three and 400 yard video on this. The three and 400 in the same video. Um, and I was just blown away at 400 yards. <laughs> I got a group like that. And uh, it was, it was a, a zero win day, surprisingly, so that helped a lot. Um, so this thing is still a freaking tack driver out there at 400 yards, but anyways, check out that 400 yard video linked in the description. I'll also put up the, uh, 22 mag video at 500 yards if you want to check that out. And I'd invite you to check out the rimfire, uh, playlist on the channel. I got over a hundred rimfires in there, including gel tests, long range videos like this, reviews and whatnot. So check out the 22 slash rimfire playlist on the channel for anything rimfire. But that'll do her. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next one.